Unit 2 Mineral Resources In this lesson we we'll learn about the list of minerals found in our state Tamil Nadu and we'll also describe the uses of minerals. Here there is a conversation between the father and the son where they are going moving to a new house. And their new house they have some electrical works going on. And the son pick up an insulated copper wire from the ground. And here there begins the conversation by explaining each and every materials. We get these material from different resources. Let us know about a natural resources. We know natural resources we get naturally from the plants and our environment. The natural resources are important to us because they are satisfying our daily needs. like food clothing shelter and etc by taking the wire in the hand the son asks his father what is this and the father explains that this is an wire and we are using it to give electrical connections to our house so here each and every thick wire has many metal wires inside this and these thin metal wires are made up of copper copper is one of the most used mineral in today's world and they are very useful and are found naturally on our earth copper is a very good conductor of electricity copper is also used in all electrical appliances like computers televisions mobile phones and other electronic devices another mainly used mineral is iron ore and this iron ore is mainly used to produce iron this iron ore is found at kanjamalai in tamil nadu the iron is used to make vehicles engines railway tracks ships buildings furniture paper clips tools bicycles and thousands of other items we know that the natural resources are used by us daily and the natural resources that are consumed once it cannot be replaced and they are also called as non renewable resources the resources which we cannot formed again we'll call it as non renewable resources just think we use coal petroleum natural gas are called fossil fuels iron copper bauxite gold silver and other are called as mineral resources let us know something new the non renewable resources can be divided into three categories they are metallic resources non metallic resources and fossil fuel resources gold ore a gold ore is also a mineral the gold is extracted from gold ore and it is considered as one of the most precious mineral in the world and that is why it is used for making jewels gold is also a very good conductor of electricity the gold is found in small amounts in electronic devices including mobile phones televisions and so on another useful mineral is bauxite the bauxite is used to make aluminum aluminum is also used in electronic devices constructions vehicles and even in utensils the vessels which you are using for cooking 
let us know something new the bauxite deposits are mainly found in shevori hills of salem district in tamil nadu the bauxites are used in aircraft industry electrical industry and also for using in making machines about large quantity the bauxite is also used in making paper purifying water and refined petroleum it is used to manufacture rubber and cosmetics zinc zinc is also an essential mineral for our daily life and because it is a very small amount of zinc is necessary for the human health a human body does not have and store excess of zinc but we must consume it regularly as a part of a food diet the foods which are including these zinc items are red meat white meat and the seafoods other than the food items the zinc is also present as zinc oxide which is mainly used in the manufacturers products such as paint rubbers cosmetics medicines inks batteries textiles and other all electrical equipments potash the most useful mineral is potash 95% of potash is used for making fertilizers if the soil does not have enough of potassium the potash fertilizers are used to improve the quality of soil the remaining 5% potash is used in commercial and industrial products such as soap glossary let us learn the meanings of few words conductor a substance that quickly conducts electricity heat and so on precious valuable manufacture make